Hey guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty, and today I'm here to share with you this super smoked out green eye look, and this is in celebration for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm so excited because this is the first time I've ever done like a really intense, like smoked out look. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this, let's get started. To start off, I'm going in with my NYX eyeshadow base and I am priming my eyes. And you guys can see I did my brows, but they're not great. I end up touching them up later. And then now I'm going in with the color Stiletto. This is a NYX single hot, hot single eyeshadow. And I'm applying this as a transition color with my Sigma E40 brush. This is like one of my favorite drugstore transition colors. It works really well for me. Now I'm going in with Guilt Trip and I'm using a Bdellium 776 which is equivalent to the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm just applying this to the crease. This is to start deepening it up and I'm blending this into the blending color that we just applied. Next I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Lime and I'm applying this all over the lid. This will be the base for our eyeshadow. And I'm just using my Sonia Kashuk Synthetic Concealer Brush to spread this out. Anytime I use my fingers, I end up making a mess and it gets everywhere. It's terrible. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with this color Zen. And it was amazing because I didn't realize how deep it was until I actually put it on my lid. And it is super crazy pigmented. And I'm using my Sigma 855 brush to just pat this color into that base. And as you guys can see, it is a gorgeous deep like forest green next I'm gonna go into this deeper green color and it's called enchanted and I'm actually mixing it with guilt trip and I am just putting this on the outer corner and this is what's really gonna super smoke out this look and I am actually going in with really really light handed on the actual outer corner of the eye, I press the color in really hard to set that color in place. But anything beyond that, like in the crease area or into the super outer V towards the brow, I'm very, very, very light handed because it is super pigmented. So you want to be really light handed and just build up the color. Otherwise, you could end up with like a crazy black eye. It's intense. And so here I'm just blending it all into place and I've got one eye. So next I'm going to go in with my Bedellium Studios liquid liner. I am actually super impressed with this liner. First of all, like, it stays on all day long. And I don't think it's waterproof, but it does not smudge. It stays on. It's got a really short, fine tip, so you can be really precise. And the, the formula just glides on so smoothly. I am super impressed with this liner. I got it in the mail and I really like it. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and a concealer brush and I'm just going to clean up any of the shadow that I got under my liner that's just kind of everywhere. And this is really just a cleanup phase. You can do makeup remover as well. I chose concealer today. It just depends on my mood. And then now I'm going in with my Star Looks liner in Obsidian. This is just a black creamy liner and I'm just going to line that lash line, the lower lash line, and then set this with that same brown shadow, that Guilt Trip shadow, underneath it and then smudge that out with a shadow brush. I think I got this brush from an Ipsy bag actually. Then of course I'm going to curl my lashes and then we're going to go in and apply mascara. I'm using the Rimmel Accelerator, I think that's what it's called, and I'm just applying this to my lashes. I am going to be wearing false lashes. I don't know if I really like this mascara for the upper lashes, but I definitely love this for my lower lashes. And since I was wearing false lashes, I figured I'd just use it on both the upper and the lower. But yeah, it totally adds super volume to my lower lashes and makes them more visible, so I definitely like this as a lower lash mascara. Now I'm going on to my face, and I'm using my currently new and favorite Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, and I'm applying this to the areas where I crease. I still have a creasing problem with my under eyes. I'm still figuring that out. Sad face. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match. This is my all-time favorite foundation. Every time I think I found a new foundation, and then I go back to my L'Oreal True Match, I'm like, nope, L'Oreal True Match still hands down my favorite drugstore foundation. I haven't experimented with high ends, so I can't really say of any high ends that I really love. I, I was gonna get the Laura Mercier, but they didn't have it. 
and uh, the Estee Lauder when I went to Colorado, so we'll have to get that another day. But anyway, I cleaned up my brows first, and then now I'm applying the foundation all over the face. And the reason why I do the brows first is because, I don't know about you, but whenever I try to apply foundation near my brows, I end up like erasing my brows and losing my brows. So if I can just do a foundation near that, like precision wise, I do so much better. And I'm applying all of this with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. Awesome. Now I'm going in with my new favorite concealer. This is my Smashbox BB Cream in Light Medium. I got this eye cream in Sephora when I was in Colorado and the lady suggested it to me and holy crap, I love it. It is super lightweight, very, very creamy, but it has amazing, amazing coverage. And normally I would blend this in with my beauty blender, but I got lazy. I didn't want to get up in the middle of filming to go wet my beauty blender, so I just used my F80 and it actually worked out really well any other concealer if i tried this it would have ended up like streaking but this concealer is so creamy that i can blend it out by stippling it with my f80 and it still looks flawless this concealer is magical like magical i'll have to do a video on it one of these days because it's truly amazing and then of course Back to the regular routine, my BH Cosmetics Pro Powder in 205 and my blush brush from e.l.f. setting all of that into place everywhere where I just applied the concealer. So under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, lip, forehead, all that fun stuff. And then I set the rest of my face with my other BH Cosmetics Pro Powder in 230. You know the routine, same diff, same thing. Ooh, and then next I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and oh my god, this is the first time I actually used it, and I realized, oh my god, my face smells like chocolate. I was so excited. I mean, everybody always says it smells like chocolate, but dude, like, if you haven't smelled it, it smells better than chocolate. It smells like I need to eat chocolate and crave it for the rest of the day kind of chocolate. Like, it's not just like you know chocolate it's like sweet chocolate like the kind that you just want to like dunk your face in and it's an amazing bronzer like I am in love with this bronzer it does an amazing job for contouring and like overall bronzer like you could take a big brush and put it all over and it gives you a nice tan it's awesome and then of course I have to go back in with some more NYX and I'm using the NYX NYX blush NYX blush in summer peach I went through a whole depotting phase and I went NYX crazy. So all the products in that palette is NYX and that is a Z palette by the way. And of course I'm going in with NYX again and this is with the highlighting powder and oh my god I love this highlighting powder. And I'm just using a crown to tone to something, I don't remember, it's a blush brush from, from crown and I am just blending that highlight above my cheeks, forehead, nose, on my chin. I do put it on my lip as well, but like I forgot to edit it in. I don't know what I was doing. Craziness. And then I'm going in with my NYX Matte Lip Cream in the color Athens. And I don't know what it is, but I have been super obsessed with NYX lately. Like super obsessed. And I didn't even go to IMATS this year, so I didn't get like a super cool swag bag or anything like I did last year. In this case, like all these products, I've just been like shopping like crazy. Like NYX has been coming out with so many amazing things. I'm just like blown away right now. So yeah, I had no, no sponsorship or anything. However, if NYX would like to send me stuff, I am down for free stuff. Next, I'm going in with some lashes. These are Ardell Demi Lashes? Demi Wispies? Uh, what is it? These are the Ardell Lash Lights in 330, and I just applied some Kiss Lash Glue. I really like the Kiss Lash Glue. It helps you prevent getting too much glue, and it gets tacky real easily. And so, yay, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, please make sure to thumbs it up and make sure to subscribe. I did film a look that could be a potential prom look or just a fun shimmery light going out look. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, comment down below, and of course, thumbs it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. 
Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I'm here to review for you the new NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I actually got this in my last haul. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it down below. It was my Colorado Beauty haul and I got this because I was trying to find an alternative for brows. I've been using my brow bar to go forever and a day. I actually have a tutorial on how I use that. I will also